says it safely evacuated the 200 passengers during today's train fire. But our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, talked with a railroad expert who says the video taken by passengers appears to tell a different story. From Sky Eye, you can see MBTA crews around the charred orange line car sitting on the tracks over the Mystic River. Please help, sir. Earlier, terrified passengers jumped out of windows to escape the train after it caught fire. These people are panicking. Obviously, they were not given any information. And the, and the car where this occurred is where the train operator is located, the train driver. And he should have been immediately in control of the situation and calmed the people. This shouldn't have happened. Carl Berkowitz is a railroad safety expert. He says the fire shouldn't have happened either. The MBTA's preliminary investigation shows a metal cover on the bottom of the car got loose and hit the third rail, igniting material under the train. The T says that car and the metal panel were inspected last month. Berkowitz says that raises a lot of questions about the inspection process. You have a, a vehicle that's 42 years old. How are they inspecting it? You know, one would like to look at the method of inspection, but something like that just doesn't dislodge after one month. It's not a rocket science. You check everything. Bolts get loose, rivets get loose, and these things are easily detectable. Berkowitz says the MBTA is plagued with issues involving maintenance and training that are preventable. When you have a failure on the front line, it's a result of management supervision. Do you think the MBTA is doing enough to maintain the safety of the system? I think they're trying hard, but I don't think they're getting there. In the wake of this incident, the MBTA says it's looking at tightening up training and protocols. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.